welcome to today's video which is my wedding skincare so this is everything i did to my skin in the lead up to the wedding day so that i could have perfect skin and perfect makeup because ultimately how good your makeup looks and how good your make makeup photographs and videos is a lot of it is based on how good your skin is and what state your skin is in so yeah let's start so i think i should start this video by explaining sort of about my skin because ultimately everyone's skin is different i'm sure we all know that anyone that's watching knows that um and i do want to say that my belief has always been that skin and how good your skin is um is mainly down to genetics and luck like that's how i truly feel um so i also have systemic lupus which means i actually do have a permanent rash on my face um, so you'll see that in the videos, like makeup covers it pretty well um, on most days. On some days it can completely cover it, depends how bad my lupus is. Um, on other days you can sort of see it through through any amount of makeup I put on. Um, but you'll see it in the skincare segments I've filmed where I've got no makeup on. And if you're obviously a subscriber, I film a lot and post a lot without any makeup on, so you will see it. Um, you will already know what my skin looks like. Um, but yeah, so I do, just so you know, I do have that and it's called a butterfly rash because it goes here, sort of like a butterfly. Um, and I have that permanently and it ranges anywhere from being just sort of looking quite red to being very bumpy, um, textured, angry and almost purple in colour and it, so it changes a lot basically and second to that I think it's important to note that I have got I've always considered myself to have combination skin i.e I get both oily and dry bouts and patches but also I think more importantly than that I have very very sensitive skin incredibly sensitive skin um which now I'm pretty sure like we've learned is to do with my lupus but my whole life before I ever even knew I had lupus I always knew I had sensitive skin and I could barely put anything on my skin safely so yeah I think that's important to note because then if you're watching this and you have sensitive skin like these products have all been safe and, eat and good to use for me um, but also that watching the clips of me without makeup and whatever and you can see the way my skin is reacting or interacting with the products it, I have very sensitive skin <laughs> so also, because of that, um, I think my whole life I've had good skin, what most people would consider good skin. I have didn't ever, even as a teenager, have real acne. Um, I get like one big spot at a time around my period and then it goes, or I'll get like a couple small, you know those really small, really painful ones, <laughs> like either ar like around my nose or around my mouth and chin on my period, and that's about it. Um, and other than the sensitivity and the rash, I've never really had any other like skin uh, problems or skin complaints. And so most of my life, genuinely, until my early 20s, from when I was like 12, 13, I literally only washed my face morning and night with a splash of cold water and then put on simple moisturiser and sun cream, like I'd use whatever sun cream. I'd often use sun cream that's meant for the body, for the face, which obviously now I know better and I don't do that, but yeah. Um, and then I'd use like a, any face wash, whatever, in the shower, when I was in the shower. It was my entire skincare routine. <laughs> and then when I was getting married and I was like, I knew I was gonna do my own makeup, I did my own makeup, and um, I will link at the, end, the end of this video for you my wedding makeup video, because I showed you my whole routine, every product I used. And I'm really proud of how it turned out and it photographed and videoed beautifully, so that's what really mattered to me. Um, but yeah, I knew obviously I was gonna do my own makeup and I kept coming across the same issues with my makeup and that was panicking me. And when I did my research, I saw so many people who know better than I do telling me that it it's about your skin, not your makeup. So it's not about the techniques or the products you're using with your makeup necessarily, but it could be a problem with your skin. So I was like, okay, maybe it's time for me to finally invest in some skincare um, and actually get a skincare routine together. So if you're a complete novice like I am, no judgment, I was 
forever <laughs> until I got married. Um, Cause even from my, my early twenties to my mid twenties, I only really like bought a couple of products that I thought looked nice or I'd use stuff that came in gift sets. I didn't have like a skincare routine. I didn't really know like the order to use in products or like what products were best for me or anything like that. So yeah, I did my research and the first thing I looked up was what order do you, like what products is the, like the baseline that people suggest you should have and what order do you use them in? And so that's where I started. And um, the things that came up were cleanser, toner, serums, moisturizer, SPF, and then there's obviously extras, face masks, things like that, that you can add in, face oils, things like that. Um, but the baseline was really those. And so then I did research on the highly, most highly recommended of each of those. And that's where I started. And then from there, like a few of those I still use and other things I've like cycled through. And also what I did was I, when I knew I was going to be buying this stuff, I, took advantage of when websites that sell beauty products were doing like a free gift set of like a load of new products because that's a great way for you to try a load of new stuff um, for free because you're already buying what you need or what you want um, but also in like a small amount and if you don't like it doesn't matter but if you love it then you can add it into your routine and actually a couple of my products have come from that. So yeah, let's talk about the products I use. So the cleanser I use is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. And the way you use it is you put it on to dry skin and then you it comes with some cloths. And then once you've got like the cloths, I now have like six of them. So I now just need to buy like new cleansers when I run out rather than the set that comes with cloths. But obviously if over time your cloths get gross or whatever, or you just want to replace them or you need new ones, then buy more. But um, yeah, you put it on, on your face, on your dry face, and then you run the cloth under hot water and then wipe it off with that. And then I finish with a splash of cold water um, and love it. I immediately saw a change in my skin when I started using this and I immediately see a change in my skin for the worse when I stop using it. I love it, highly recommend it. My toner currently has no lid. Uh, I dropped it this morning when using it and um, when I looked to where it was, a giant spider was sat on the lid already in that second. So I was like, that's his now and I'm not going after it. And I'm not even scared of spiders, but as I've got older, they just gross me out. Like I don't want to grab them. I was always that girl that would just like grab them with my hand, throw them out the window, whatever, I didn't care. But now they give me the ick. But anyway, this is the <laughs> Pixie Glow Tonic um, Toner. And the way I use this is either just literally pouring it into my hands and then patting it into my face, or I put it on a cotton round, or I've got like microfiber, like uh, skincare round things that you can use that are reusable, um, and put it on with that. And then you just leave it to dry, you don't wash it off. And actually again, as not, all of these is the case, I'm gonna keep repeating it, but I really noticed a difference when I started using this. In terms of less texture, um, to my skin and more of a glow for sure like healthy just healthier looking skin I think when I started using that serums so these aren't the serums I first ever like tried but they were through it was actually I found the brand Cordially through like I said a gift set and I they had like a little uh, one of the pink one and I loved it and I bought that for a while and then I thought hmm maybe I should try like that brand other products and and more for what I need for my skin one, because I don't know if that maybe was for firming or aging or something, which I didn't feel like I needed as much. Um, and I have two that I regularly use, and you can see they're both nearly out. Um, and I use this one at night, this one in the morning. This one is um, Blemish Control, Salicylic Acid uh, Serum. And I love it, it's refreshing. You put that on after your toner, and again, you don't wash it off or anything. Um, and this one is Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting. So basically, um, to do with my lupus, I had this horrible bout of like um, a, a different type of rash all around my jawline and it was scarring me. And that's the thing with lupus. I have lupus and fibromyalgia. And so I don't heal the way an, a healthy person would. Um, things take really long, like cuts and bruises and marks and scars take really long to heal for me in comparison to other people. So um, 
I was having like loads of dark spots that would often look from afar like acne um, where they were just scars from from that rash because um, my lupus rash can actually also scar me and does regularly scar me um, this really helped with that got rid of the uh, like look of that minimized it a lot and this I got because who, who wants to wake up with spots on their wedding day no one um, and I actually did the first time so if you're new here as well and you don't know um we because of covid we split our wedding up so we had a 15 person ceremony we'd already booked and paid for our wedding so we had our full wedding exactly a year later on the first wedding when we just had our ceremony i did wake up with a spot on my chin <laughs> i hadn't had a spot at all on my face for months and then that morning i was like typical but yeah that is what it is and the second wedding I had a spot come up the week before and it was, you can sort of see it in pictures, it's up by my eyebrow, one of those little really painful ones. Um, that again, it just wouldn't heal in time. But um, other than that, yeah, this for spots is amazing. Then after that, my moisturizer. So some of these products are quite pricey and I don't think you necessarily need to spend that much. I genuinely bought the cleanser, the toner and the moisturizer I'm looking through my stuff. <laughs> the moisturizer and my facial oil. I bought those based off of the, all those lists I found of like highly recommended products and was good for like sensitive skin and my, my skin type. And this moisturizer is ridiculously expensive. Um, and that's why at the moment I don't have it here to show you <laughs> because I haven't re-bought it since I ran out after the wedding because like, and I, I don't get me wrong, I miss it with my whole heart. Like nothing else nothing else compares <laughs> genuinely for me nothing else compares and i, I like I'm, and, and i don't care enough to like buy it when i don't have the money for it and so that's why i don't have it right now um but i will be rebuying it for sure and it does last ages it is a big tub but and you only need a tiny amount every time you use it which is great as well so a little goes a long way but it's still ridiculously expensive um, so yeah, at the moment I'm just back to using my simple moisturiser um, or any old moisturiser that I've got in sets, like I said, and actually I do notice a difference, but not enough, like I said, to like bankrupt myself. So that I use is, I'll put a picture up, um, it's Dr. Barbara St Barbara Sturm, Sturm, Sturm or Sturm? Dr. Barbara Sturm, and it was recommended as like the perfect all-rounder moisturizer for like sensitive skin like it's not fragranced and like i don't know it just honestly is a dream to use i love it in every way like it's it feels luxurious and expensive as well when you're using it and it doesn't leave any kind of like oily or filmy feel to your skin and i yeah i just couldn't rave about that enough but that was the moisturizer i used but spf the one i did get was skin cuticles Factor 50 for me, obviously, given my lupus and also my paleness. Um, but I also started using a La Roche-Posay one, which I put a photo up here, uh, because it's a little bit less expensive, I think, than this one. I basically did, uh, this was the one that was recommended on all those lists, and that's why I tried it, and I do love it. But I also kept seeing this one as a, as a second, so I use both, and I often, I feel like this one obviously runs out quicker. Um, the other one is more like watery in texture and it's very like clear, see-through, whatever. This one feels lovely on my skin. It's lovely under makeup. I'm wearing it today under my makeup. I wore it both wedding days under my makeup. Um, yeah, love this. A second moisturizer that I've been using in that time um, and that I started using because a big tip for me was not to wear makeup in the build up to the wedding as, as much as you can don't wear it and so i did that which i don't wear makeup very often anyway like normally once a week so in between though there were days when my rash was so bad and i was just looking for stuff that could like i don't know just give my skin a bit of a more even look to it without having to wear makeup and this came really highly recommended which is elemis's uh superfood and it's a glow priming moisturizer. And when you put, well, I was a bit alarmed when I first put it on my hand because it comes out looking like foundation. And I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting it to look that much, which is stupid given the bottle, like you can see. <laughs> that is what it looks like when it comes out. Um, but I love it. I really love it. It makes my skin look healthy, glowy. I actually use that today. I actually use that today. And that has been, anytime I've gone on holiday in between, I've taken that instead of the really expensive one. Um, 
in case I get it lost, of course. But also just like, I think it looks glowy, healthy, gives you an even look. I love it. So in amongst that, I also got the Pixie spot stick this is called zero zit and oh my god it works like actually what it does is like bring out the spot quicker which if like because of my healing problem uh, everything is so slow in its cycle with me um and this was great for like get that spot out get rid of it get it over with heal it quick i love this the facial oil that came recommended was the aurelia one um and it's 